Welcome to the 26th episode of the But I'm Knitting podcast. This is Ramona. I'm a knitter from Toronto and welcome to my corner of the crafting world. Again, I'm filming on my iPad. I've generally figured out what the problem with my computer is. It's a video card issue. Now we'll see how long it will take to get that thing fixed or a new laptop. We'll see whichever one comes first. Um, so this week I only have a little bit of a work in progress to, well, cast on slash work in progress to show you because the other socks I was working on, um, I didn't realize till I got home on Saturday night. I left them at church, probably sitting right by my new cardigan. So I'll have to make do. So I guess I'll show, start with yeah. I'll start with my um with my newly cast on project. Um, as you're aware, hopefully if you've watched previous episodes, I joined the the mystery did along for Stephen West um, Speckle and Pop Shop. Hold on a second. Once I get the Okay, well, first things first, it's being transported around in this lovely oversized backpack type bag from No Makers. Never realized how, never thought I would use it for this, but it's so useful. So, all of my contrasting colors. Move that one to the side there. And hold on, I just dropped something on the floor. Anyway, you know what, we'll get it afterwards. Um, and so, I will show you how far I've made it. I'm still in the middle of do, doing clue one. Um, if you're doing this and you don't want to be surprised, uh, I suggest you look away now. But I'm loving it so far. So, hold on. Is this the right side? Yeah, this is the right side. Okay. Here it is as of now. So, I still have a, quite a bit of ways to go to finish clue number one. And then on Fridays, my clue number two should become um, optional. So I'm about halfway through clue number one. So I'm excited about that. Well, no, there's more to it, to it after I finish that. But I'm making good progress on it, I think. Um, it's using, yeah. And honestly, just go look it up online to see what other people have done with it. So the colors that I'm using, um, I'm just going to give them names because they're all numbers. Uh, this one is a, hold on. It might actually be easier to see it on this side because it's not as far apart. So there's a turquoise color. There's a pink color. Uh, dark purple, peach, navy blue, and now I'm back to the, I finished the teal color, and now I'm back to the, my main color, which is from, um, ooh, I forgot, but the name of the colorway is Honey Be Good. I got it. It was vacuum sealed from Nova Scotia. I can't remember the name. I'll try and put it in the down bar below. Um, so that's, she's a Canadian dyer. I know that for, for, for sure. So that's, my shell so far, the progress that I've made on it. I'm actually quite happy about that. Hold on, did I perhaps put the business card inside of here? No, I was not that beneficial to myself. Oh, well. Okay, so the only other thing that I did was a couple of things for stash enhancements. Um, I dyed, I finished dyeing a couple more skeins. I don't think I said anything about them. Um, and then I got a few things. So I'll, one of the things I dropped is one of the new things I got. All right, so I really, um, by the time I cast on my shawl on Sunday, I realized I was having an issue with the needles that I was using. And since I, I'm not a big fan of them for, for this project, it feels like it needs something, I guess, a bit more sturdy and more sharp for the, for the needles themselves. Um, and since I had to make an order for a new dye stock, I, they also sell things like knitting needles and that kind of stuff. So I picked up a couple stuff. One of the things I picked up, um, I actually took it out of the packaging already because I had planned to transfer, but I haven't done it yet. These are the Lyke, Lyke, L-Y-K, K, no, L-Y-K-K-E, I think is how it's spelled. So I got a pair, a set of size four uh, circular needles. I also got, just in case, higher, higher sharps. So these ones are made out of wood. These ones are made out of metal. I know for certain these will work well, but I'm still want to I want to try these ones out. The other thing that I got with that order, um, they had a sale for Patton's Croy socks, so I got a two pack for like less than eight bucks, so it's enough to make a pair of socks. So I'll add that to my Croy sock collection eventually, and then everything else I got was just uh, dye stuff to make dye stock. Um, so what did I dye this week? That's pretty much the only other thing. And it's actually right behind me. I've got one. You were 
there from before. Ooh, ooh this should have been reskained. Okay, so I dyed four skeins of yarn. I was supposed to do another two more, but time got away from me, and then I just didn't get back to it again. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is this one, which I absolutely love. Um, I called it, I'm going to call you Skirt. Um, the colors on this one, there is, um, there's yellows, there's orange, there's reds, blue, black. It's mostly yellow, though. A lot of it's yellow. Um, I can't really show you how it was originally. Uh, so, this is all of the... It Honestly, it reminds me of a carnival. But that was not the reason behind the naming scheme. Um, but this also did teach me something because I have to go through this with every single skein. Let your skeins dry completely before you try to uh, reskein them or else you are going to be sitting down there for hours with people telling you you should just cut your yarn because it's taking far too long to untangle everything. So that's... So I did two skeins of that. And then I did two skeins of the Ninja. Um, I'm not too certain if this will be my final result for Greninja if I ever do this again because I'm it wasn't until close to the end when I was dying it that I realized how to get the speckles the way that I wanted to with a spray bottle so it came out like too much of a um, a mist type of thing as opposed to actual spots spots of color so I like the blue the blue is perfect it's the rest of it that's the problem so there it is now and the splotch, you can actually see a little bit of the color. There's a little bit of yellow, a little bit of black. There's some purple um, and some pink that pops up in there. But it's so hard to see because when I was spraying, it misted as opposed to coming out like, like a splotch. So like there are parts here where you can actually get to see the splotch of colors. But then there are other parts where you only see like like if you look at this section here you can't actually see anything it looks more white more than anything or a little bit tinted so I got to work on that but otherwise for first attempt it's pretty good um I have another one that I still have to uh that's caked and I still have to skein it so hold on. no this way so that's what it looks like all caked up color wise and that is really it knitting wise um I don't have any other projects to show because either I didn't work on it or I forgot it and it's a different city and I'll have to get back to it another time. Um, this may just be my shortest episode yet. Um, yeah, but that's okay because last week it took like a good few hours to get my uh, iPad to upload everything to the internet because it kept trying to go to sleep. And when, he tries to go to, and when it goes to sleep, then it stops exactly what it's doing. And then when you start it up again, it starts to... Um, when you start it up again, it starts to uh, say you can't do it and you got to start it all over again. I went through that about three times before I figured out exactly how to make it work. That, take, that took way too long. So we're going to keep this episode really, really short. Um, um, while I do actually have the option of using my brother's laptop, he doesn't have the software that I use to edit the videos. So really it makes no difference because then I can't edit it. Like, So it will be like doing it on the iPad. So that is going to be everything for today. Um, this is my shortest episode yet. It was nice talking to you, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye!